Hi, I'm glad to have you again in the session of our tutorials today and today we'll be considering how to design and simulate a pump. Okay, so let's start with opening our simulation case. All right. Now, we should understand the fact that a compressor, the major difference between a compressor and a pump is the fact that a compressor is used for a gas and a pump is used for liquid. Both are used for increasing the pressure, but compressors for gas and um, pump is for liquid. So if you must pump a fluid, okay, it must be in the liquid phase. So let's check out our, our, our streams. I know the one that exists in the liquid phase. Stream 2 is in the gas phase. Okay, stream 3 is in liquid phase. So we will be pumping stream 3. Okay, so stream 3, the vapor phase fraction for stream 3 is 0, meaning that this particular feed exists in the liquid phase. All right, so all I need to do is to get a pump. This is a pump. Drop it. Open the pump. Okay. So it requires a fifth stream. So stream three. Outlet stream. Let's say stream four. Okay. And um, energy stream. Let's say, you can call it pump HP or PHP. Okay. That's pump horsepower. And um, first of all, let me check what's the pressure, 101.3. So I want to pump it from one atmosphere to two atmosphere, okay? From one atmosphere, that's 101.3 kilopascal to two atmosphere. So all I need to do, I can come to uh, delta P and my pressure drop will be one, one kilo on atmosphere. Okay, remember um, I'm pumping from 101.3 kilopascal, which is one atmosphere to two atmosphere. So if the pressure drop is one, that means the outlet pressure drop should be two. Okay, so one atmosphere, let's check. So this is 202.6, which is also 2.02 cis bar, and that is one um, two atmosphere. Okay, so that is one way of doing that or you can come over to the worksheet on that stream for you type to atmosphere okay to atmosphere you come back to design it also give you the same thing so that's how to simulate your pump and this is a pump um duty 2.53576 kilowatts Okay, that's 3.401 HP for the power. And um, what again do I need to show you? What do I need to show you again? Okay. Okay. So under performance, this is where you see your pressure head, velocity head, and your total power. Okay. So that's majorly all about pump design. So. I've not taught you how to name your unit operations or how to change names. So from here, instead of P100, you can give it a name pump one. That's if you have series of pumps or you can just call it pump. Depending on how you want to name, you just give it a name. So you close this. Once you close this, you will see this as pump. Okay. So it has been named as pump. So the essence of naming your unit operation and your stream giving it a specific name instead of using one, two, three, P hundred is the fact that in a particular process design, you might have series of, you might have a lot of pump, not just one or two, you might have close to five pumps or six pumps, and you have P hundred, P one oh one, P one oh two. You can just give it specific names that will help you to track it and make it look neat. Then also for your stream, instead of naming it stream one, stream two, stream three, stream four, you can easily come to the worksheet and change this name from stream one to maybe gas, gas one, gas two, gas three, because you might have gas 
and you might have liquid streams you might have water so instead of naming one two three give you a specific name that will tell you that this is the particular stream you're looking for at any point in time and especially where you want to print your data sheets it will be explicit everyone that sees you to know okay that this particular stream is either water gas stream or stream that is coming out from this particular unit operation or a stream that is going to this unit operation so that's the essence of giving your stream or your unit operation a specific name okay with this okay fine when you have, um just put your cursor around this object inspect this you see that the heat flow is 9129 kilojoule per hour and the power is 2.536 kilowatts all right when you convert to horsepower is about um 3.041 horsepower so that's basically how to simulate your pump it's as simple as that there is no two ways about it with aspen high seas it's not bigger than this all right thank you for your time and um i really really appreciate as i promised that the next um it's getting hotter um the next phase will be we're we'll we'll talking about um how to simulate your two-phase separator three-phase separator um storage tank mixer a t and the valve then we'll go straight to distillation column absorber cstl and so forth all right so thank you for another time with me and um you'll be seeing the next video in a short while thank you